What's your daily responsibilities? What do you do daily through the course of the year? How do you become a Pro Scout? What do you do day to day? And to be the best scout that you can be, what do you have to do? Anybody want to grab the microphone and answer that? I will take that. Um, I know this will shock the rest of the panel over here. Okay, uh, all scouts are responsible for a certain designated coverage area, and that area is determined by your team and how they see utilizing their resources to their greatest advantage. Um, that being said, oftentimes they ask, well, how, how big are these areas? And it varies, but most of the time they're large. Uh, for myself, I've got everything in the state of Texas that isn't Dallas, Fort Worth, or Waco, and I've got the state of New Mexico. And it's really a simple job, and that is to have an opinion on every amateur baseball player in that area. Easy <laughs> enough. Uh, the, the scout's job is to be the on-the-ground gatherer of knowledge that you can separate all of the players within your coverage area, kind of like the guy that's panning for gold in the river. You're trying to throw out as many rocks as possible and keep the shiny rocks, keep the good ones. That process involves investigations that go way beyond what you're doing on the baseball field. On the field is where you get noticed. You get noticed by a number of different things that we're going to talk about here. That'll get you on a list. That will get you initial recognition. The next step for all of us is to start figuring out who you are. What makes you tick? What kind of aptitude do you have to play, play the game? What kind of a teammate are you? What kind of competitor are you? So all of this information is a constant process of, of gathering, refining, and asking the next question about the player. I wonder if he can make adjustments, I wonder if he can hit a breaking ball, I wonder if he can throw a change up, all these sorts of things. That process is really now, it goes around the calendar. So we are trying to see as many players, make as many phone calls, send as many emails as possible seeking information about players and then to hopefully be able to accurately prioritize on that list the people at the top that are deserving of more of your time and the people more towards the bottom that might be not quite as worthy of your time. Then the second part is that, as Jason said, we are constantly providing an opinion or perspective to all levels of amateur baseball, junior college, all levels one, two, division one, two, three, NAIA about players. So we will get a call saying, "Hey, we, our our guy transferred, or our guy got hurt, or our guy flunked out. We need a catcher." And and so it's not just information gathering for the Rangers and the Marlins and the Braves and the Dodgers, the Yankees, etc. It's information gathering to help place players. Into, air, into programs that it's a good fit, that they have a need. Okay, so I'm gonna stop you right there because I wanna get back to this networking, help these young players understand 